Sean O'Loughlin back to punt, standing back at his own 10 yard line. The deep man for the Ducks is Saladin McCullough. It's a short kick out to the near side. It may get a Husky bounce, but it goes straight up in the air and now takes a Husky roll down to the Oregon 31 yard line. So with 11. Oh, wait a second. Like we said, there has been no love lost between these two teams over the last few years. So more tempers flare out in front of the Oregon bench. It is first and ten for the Ducks. McCullough will try it one more time over the middle. Cuts to the far side across the ten and down to the goal. Down to the five-yard line. Again, it's just for the offensive line. Put a hat on a hat. Just try to find a guy in purple and let Saladin McCullough have an obstacle course run here. And you can see he's into the secondary and almost broke it. Well, if you get to the middle linebackers, Saladin can pick it up. But that time, 68, Seaton Daly had a great block. Big play right here defensively coming up for the Huskies. It is third and goal at the Husky three-yard line. Keely Smith will keep it. He's going to be now taken away. Now the pass is complete. Touchdown, Oregon. Jerry Jensen had a hand on Akili Smith, but he couldn't hang on. Smith is able to get away. A touchdown for the Oregon Ducks. With 6.41 to go here in the first quarter, the Ducks get on the board first. It's the Ducks 7. The Huskies nothing. Back with more after this timeout. At the Washington 47 yard line, Akili Smith gets out of the pocket, racing to the near side, looking, looking, and the pass is going to be complete at the 35 yard line. That was Ray Brust, about a 6 3 wide receiver, who's really come on lately for Oregon, getting a lot more playing time as the season has progressed. But here's Smith again. The protection is actually pretty good, but he flushes out and just nice little touch over Nigel Burton and inbounds for the reception. Cull in the backfield gets the handoff right over the middle has some room and he's across the 25 and down to the 22 or 23 yard line. It is second down and 10 at the Washington 25. Smith to the near side passes off complete to Pat Johnson. He's down to the Husky two yard line. Another first down for the Ducks. Rifle job by Smith. Just a quick three step drop slam by Patrick Johnson. One two three. Boom, it's gone, and he's inside the five-yard line. And Mel Miller saves the touchdown on that play. So quick that Marcus Hairston could not get back in that passing lane to disrupt Achilles Smith's throw. One thing I saw in that play, though, also on the other side, Blake Spence takes off. Who goes with him? The free safety. First and goal, they spot the football at the one-yard line. It is McCullough. McCullough, touchdown, Oregon. Saladin McCullough with a one-yard run, and the Ducks are on the board again. They have a 13 to nothing lead. Welcome back to Husky Stadium. A surprising start for the Ducks of Oregon. They have a 14-0 lead. The kick is rolled out toward midfield. It is going to be covered by the Huskies at their 42-yard line. That looks like something Jim wow. Lambright would call, huh? Had he's known to do kick. that. And that was actually a good call, and Oregon had a great chance to get that ball. That was a perfect time to call this play. It's just the uh, kicker, and it's almost designed for him to get the ball. And that, that ball could have been... That was a kicker that kicked, wow. he kicked it. <laughs> That's the problem with those kickers. They want to kick the ball. Ball for two on third down conversions for Washington. Tuiasa Sopo, quick drop. Looking to the near side, and deep Jerome Payton. He dropped it in the end zone. Jerome Payton had it. The throw was there. But he takes it around his own 30-yard line. So the early start by the Ducks in this ballgame. That's the end of the first quarter of play. Our score, the Ducks 14, and the Huskies nothing. First and 10 for the Huskies at their own 30-yard line. Shaw, the lone man in the backfield, losing the snap from center. Tuyas Sopo and the Duck players say that they have the football. And so does the referee. So the fumble on the snap from center, and holy smoke, the Oregon Ducks with the breaks here in the first half of play. They've got the ball at the Washington 30. It's just a basic way to start every play, the snap from center. But see, it just doesn't get there. Well, when the center has to get that little reach block, 
to move to his right and jump over and get the nose tackle. Sometimes it, a center will take that ball with them a little bit, and the quarterback's not used to trying to stay with him. There's a gain of one. It is second down and nine. Akili Smith looking to the far side. Gets away from one tackler. Looks to the near side. And gets away from a would-be tackler. The pass is off. Incomplete. Thrill a minute. Oh, Never a so dull moment. <laughs> This guy is exciting to watch. A.J. Jelks, I believe, was the intended receiver down around the 20. And there's Kevin Parker, number 24, and uh, he's got a target on his back. That, you know, Kevin Parker did some things in celebration two years ago up here that the Husky fans and players didn't really like, and and uh, Parker might be a marked man, number 24. It is 14 to nothing, Oregon. The kick is away, and it is. Good, the three-pointer for Frankel and the Ducks, and they move out to a 17 to nothing lead. Wide open, Payton. Downfield, but the pass goes to the near sideline. Jason Harris saw the reception. Third down, long yardage. Motion to the far side. Mike Reed to Yasisopo. Looking. Jerome Payton in the end zone. Let's take a look at the end. But again, I talked about the throwing again of Tuyasa Sopo. This one, as soon as it left his hand, it looked like, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> take him down. Yeah. Now, maybe it's not a catchable ball. This would be his longest attempt. The kick is up. It has the distance, and it is good. Nick Lentz does it again. A 46 yard field goal puts the Huskies on the board. Holy smoke. 7.40 to go in the first half. It's the Ducks 17 and the Huskies 3. Well, the Ducks and the Huskies got together back in 1994 and won a ball game, Todd. A game in Eugene. It was the stretch drive in the Rose Bowl race. And in this year, Damon Hewitt tried to throw the out pattern with his team in position to go ahead and take the lead. But Kenny Wheaton stepped in, picked off the pass. 94 yards later, he had the clinching touchdown. And Oregon eventually went on to play in the Rose Bowl. Standing here for the Ducks in 94 and again in 95 going to the Cotton Bowl that season. It is first and 10 for the Ducks at their own 32 yard line. Akili Smith looking, looking over the middle, complete to Pat Johnson. Down to the Oregon 46 yard line. Third down and seven for the Ducks. To the near side is Pat Johnson. Two wideouts to the far side. Akili Smith. Over the middle, complete to his tight end, Blake Smith. He's got the first down and a lot more down across the 30 to the Washington 29-yard line. Blake Spence, the tight end, with the reception. Tony Parrish with a tackle. He had a little help out there with uh, Eric Wynn, that little fire plug fullback. It is second down and four for Oregon. Down at the Washington 23-yard line. McCullough, one more try over the middle. He's got the Across the 10, the 5, and down to the Husky 2-yard line. Holy smoke. This guy is a load to take down. Saladin McCullough, first and goal for the Ducks. Third down for the Ducks at the Washington 4. Eric Wynn in the backfield in motion goes Pat Johnson. Smith trying to roll to his right, gets away from a tackler. Cuts up field, pass in the end zone, wide open, touchdown. Blake Spence wide open in the end zone. The Ducks are on the board again. How in the world the leading receiver tight end probably in the country can you let the guy get away from you? Well, again, because of this, because he's scrambling exactly, around. Exactly what I was going to say. Wow. Jason Torek, everybody missing tackles, but he has the ability to find the open man. Great vision. Frankel with the kick. It is up. It is good. And the Ducks have a 24 to 3 lead with 352 to go here in the second quarter. Akili Smith looking for the open man, and he finds him. 24 to 3, the Ducks lead. But when you're down here in the red zone like the Huskies were, a little fade route isn't bad, but the, the other advantage for the defense, you run out of room. Snap back, kick up, and over it, it is good. So Nick Lentz does it one more time. His second field goal here in the first half. And that's how the Huskies get on the board. Holy smoke, what a first half for the Oregon Ducks. That's the end of the first half. They went after the Huskies early in the ball game. And after two quarters of play, it's halftime with the Ducks leading by a score of 24 to 6.